And that is the abundance mindset. So what is the abundance mindset? What is it? Let's talk about it. I think the first thing about the abundance mindset is having the thought that you can do it again. For example, I'll be on a coaching call with a client and he'll be like, yeah, bro, there's no girl like this one. I don't know if I can find another one. First thing what happens, guys, when you're in scarcity, because that's a scarcity mindset. I can't do it again. She is a one of a one. That's scarcity, in my opinion. When you are living in scarcity, you tend to put up with more BS. For example, you find a girl that's sweet, that's feminine. In your head, she's an eight or a nine, really attractive woman, right? Sucks the soul out you, all that, right? But when she starts acting up because she sees you getting weak for her, she sees you starting to you know bend over backwards for her, you won't leave her. You won't because you're like, okay, I can't find another one. So I'm going to put up with the, with the BS. And with women, they can't love you if they don't respect you. They cannot love you if they don't respect you. So if she thinks she can act any kind of way, she thinks that she can do whatever, do whatever she wants, say whatever she wants, she is going to you know, walk all over you and take advantage of you, right? So if you are in abundance, right, and you think to yourself, if this girl does this one more time, I'm going to give her a little good little talking to. Does it again? I'm out. That's how your mindset should be. Because guess what? You will, in my opinion, you will get more girls walking away from them than putting up with them, putting up with them. Because when they know you have the ability to walk away, they'll start thinking twice before they follow that athlete or follow that athlete back or go into a, a, a club on a girl's night and like get 1942 poured down her throat. She'll think twice now that she knows that you're not going to put up with the BS, right? So that's what I think should be the best thing for, uh, for men is the abundance mindset. Let's go a little bit deeper into the abundance mindset. Abundance will save you from being thirsty as well. I feel like when, when you're in abundance, I'll give you an example. Let's just say you're talking to a chick, right? And you ask her, hey, what's your availability like this week? She says something like, you know what? I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're in abundance, you'll say, okay, here's my number. Text when you, when you know your availability and you walk away forever. That's living in abundance, right? Living in scarcity is okay. Well, you let me know when you're free. He checks back in like two, three days. Hey, do you know your availability yet? You know what I mean? That's scarcity. He's not, instead of going, okay, I can go out to the club this weekend and meet, meet chicks, the bar, the free, target, whatever you want to, you know what I mean? Like you can meet more chicks. So never, you know, I say this properly, you living in scarcity is a turn off to women too, because they can sense it. When a girl told you, oh, I'll let you know. And you come back two, three days later, asking her for availability again, she'll go, this guy does not get girls. Because if he got girls, he would not be stressing me. Same thing goes with you guys. Let's say a girl is pursuing you and you are trying to be as nice as possible by saying, oh, I'm not sure when I'm free. Uh, I'll get back to you. And then the next day she goes, hey, are you free today? You probably go, this girl gets no dudes. Like, why is she stressing me? It's the same thing, guys. So be in abundance when things are not going your way. Leave. Because this is how I see it. If you pulled a bad baddie once, you can pull a baddie, a baddie again. Why, why not? You know what I mean? So I definitely um, believe that abundance mindset will definitely set you apart from most men because most girls are used to guys who are overly persistent, overly desperate. And when she does one wrong thing and you go, all right, peace, and she has to run back to you, she go, wow, most guys aren't like this. So that's my tip on that. Second thing I feel like men should definitely obtain is going to have to be confidence. When you are confident, life, not just women, life is easier. A lot of times girls I date, uh, it's funny. They don't like the overconfidence, but they do. And I'll explain. It'd be different if they met me all super humble and super, you know, Oh, I'm not that good. It's okay. If they met me that like, like that, and then I became overly confident, then be, that, that's, that's a, uh, what's the proper word, uh, a congr uh, incongruency 
women like congruency. You know, you can't start off as a super bad boy, tough guy, and then turn into a soft simp. That's incongruency. So if I'm going to be this overly confident guy, I should be overly confident from the time I met her to the very end when, you know, she decides to leave or I decide to leave. You know what I mean? So confidence is something that's great because that's probably the one thing on every girl's checklist from when it, when it comes to, you know, finding a mate is confidence. And you're probably asking, okay, well, it's a lot easier said than done. How do you build it? So for me, guys, surprisingly, I never got confident until I was in my mid twenties. When I, okay, wait, that's a lie. Hold on reverse. When I was a kid, extremely confident. Why? Because I had results. What do you mean by results? When I was a young kid, I was dominant in everything I did. School did pretty good, but sports, I was the best athlete on every single court, every single swimming pool. I, it didn't matter. I was the best. No one can tell me otherwise. Parents from the other team will come up to me after the game and go, wow, I've never seen a performance like this. I've never seen a kid this athletic. I've never seen a kid score that many goals, make it look that easy. I was that kid. And yes, my head was big. I was, I was, no one could tell me nothing, nobody, right? And then I got to high school and I got humbled. The kids I was running circles around my whole childhood, they gained 40, 50 pounds and I stayed the exact same weight. So I walked in the freshman year of high school at like 98 pounds at five foot five. Yeah, now I'm six foot one, about 180, 175. But back in high school, I got there at 98 pounds. So I go from being the most important athlete on the field, right, to a bench player for football. And that was, man, there are nights I shed a couple of tears. I was like, bro, I went from the most important person on the field to the bench. Me and the bench don't even know each other like that. I never kick it on the bench. You know what I mean? So I, what was there to be confident about? Men, I feel like men need results to be confident. Now, some men out there have confidence and they've achieved nothing and have nothing going on for them. They're a different breed. But for me, I needed confidence needed to stem from something. You know what I mean? Like imagine a tree. A tree can't stand by itself. It needs roots. It needs something to dig into the ground to. And once when I got older and I started accomplishing things that I would consider not so easy, that's when my confidence came. So I advise you guys to get out there and try and fail, try and fail, try and fail again until you succeed. That's probably your best bet because confidence isn't built by, you know, you sitting back and doing nothing. Confidence is built by building up the calluses. You, you, I know you can't see my hands, they're not in focus, but there's calluses on them because I pick up heavy weight, I put it down, pick up heavy weight, put it down. Now I'm stronger than I was last week. Okay. Pick up weight again, put it down. And as I'm doing that, my hands are hurting, they're, 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 the calluses are forming on my skin, but that's how confidence is built. There is no, it's the same thing. A lot of you guys are never going to build confidence because you're not willing to put in the effort to fail or even try. My, uh, my uh, motto is I much rather die in the stadium than watch in the stands. I much rather die in the stadium than watch in the stands. What that pretty much means is I'm willing to die trying than watch somebody else from the sidelines, right? That's what happens, really. The people who try get booed the most, but the people in the stands are up there chilling, taking zero risks. What really helped me with my confidence, guys, was when I dropped out of my nine to five job and became a full-time videographer. You can put 10 men in a room. Maybe one of them can make a business from their hobby. Oh, wow. He just, okay, guys. So John just got in the chat. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.